All right. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Bars are looking good. I see a pasty white guy. And most importantly, we have Grim Dog. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Muckluck Streams with your charming, self proclaimed, yet still humble host, Muckluck. Diving right back into the grimmest of dawns, I am currently on my Conjurer, which. My Hardcore Conjurer. My first level 100 character on Hardcore. And also my first hardcore character. I never died. I got a flawless record so far. And what we're going to do tonight is look at doing the secret quest line. I've been putting this off until I had a second uh, character that was capable of getting the double XP potions in hardcore. So that if my only high level hardcore character died, I wasn't back to square one. Now my Ritualist is high enough that they can potentially, well, very soon that they could buy the stuff. And uh, I still have more fun on this one right now. So this one tonight, going to be trying to gear up and also do some of the secret quest lines. Anyone here right now may notice we're in veteran mode. That's because the first quest we're gonna do is the hidden path, which gives you more skill points and you can do it on each of the difficulties. So right now, what we're gonna do is uh, remember how to play this freaking character. We are going to do this on normal mode, then elite mode, then ultimate. Look at those resistance. Oh, cause we're in normal. I'm like, those resistances are amazing. Good job, Mucklug. No, it's not like that at all. Okay. Um, I wonder if I have gear upgrades for this stuff in the stash. <laughs> Not for that, I don't. That's amazing. Mwah. Love it. Okay, so for the hidden path, 
first thing we need to do is go to the runestone of Drieg is the first thing, which means running right out here. As I said, you can do the hidden path on each of the three difficulties, and it gives a skill point every time. So when you're at the end game, those extra three points are super valuable. So it's great. Uh, we need to go over there, so we got to get around this thing. After the hidden path quest line, there is the. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is it? Is it through the house? I think it's through here. Here we go. Haha, -ha, we're off the grid now. Oh, are you kidding me? Hold on. Gotta make some dynamite. How was my day? My day was busy, but not not bad. It wasn't stressful, and really that's what I try to avoid, is I try to avoid stress, and I try to avoid people that cause me stress. But my day was busy, so that's about all I got. Uh, where's the dynamite? There we go. Bring me back any blueprints. You know I will, baby. Yo, know, I really need to remember, what was I doing on this person? Raspberry Vines, da, da, da. Elemental Storm. I don't know how great a damage this thing is doing, but it's it's neat. And we got Ishtak, my lady Ishtak. All right. Let us go back to my little portal in the secret area. Boom, baby. Suddenly, the mobs are level 60. Still easy peasy. We'll run over here. For the hidden path line, there are four guardians you gotta kill. Which, uh, grant you access to the final area. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Alright, Guardian of Dreek. The first Guardian. Gotcha. Okay. Hidden Path Dreek. Da 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 da. Brimstone. Okay. Now, I've gone through this whole thing once before, but I am certainly. I certainly don't have it uh, memorized. Okay, south southwest of the Broken Hills, a secret. Okay, got it. Go through the portal. And. Broken Hills, where are you at? There we go. I don't know if that's the best waypoint to get to there. We'll find out in a moment. Yes, yes it is. Uh, da, 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 da. Hurry, Tron! I got a I got a pretty good story for from the day today. It's pretty funny. So, as, as most people that have been here before know, I work in tech support, and I had this uh, lady call in today, and she sounds like a like a sweet old lady. She's like she, by her voice, I would guess minimum late fifties, maybe sixties or beyond, and. She's talking to me on the phone, and she was an insurance agent, and she got to talking about insurance and Rex, and she's like, you know what I did the other day? Oh, I can't believe I'm about to tell you this story. Ugh, oh, I'm gonna tell it anyway. Do you know what I did the other day? And I was like, no, what did, what did you do the other day? And she says, so I was driving, and I got to a four-way stop. And there's a the four-way stop by my house. I have a, I have a four-way stop. I have to take a left. And and I pull up to the stop, and I was first, and there was a truck coming from the other direction with a woman in it. This is the second stone, by the way. And this woman's in the truck, and she gets there second, so after I stop, I start to go. And, by the way, my impression of an old woman sounds like a sassy gay man. Okay. <laughs> That's the second rune stone. Right there. And she goes, so we pull up to the stop at the same time, and after we get there, we need to go to Aster Karn Valley now. After we get there, I start to go through the intersection because I got there first. And she starts beeping her horn at me, and she's like, what are you doing? 
And you know what I did? Oh, I can't believe I'm about to tell you this. And I'm like, what? What'd you do? I'm thinking like, she wave a gun at this woman? Like, what's so crazy? And she's like, I flipped her off. And I was like, okay. And I was kind of let down because she had built up the story so much. And she was like, and she started like hitting her brakes and her gas at the same time. So her, she was just burning rubber at me. I was like, did she follow you or anything? And she goes, no, I would have driven straight to the police. But you know what? And I was like, what? And she goes, if we had been in a gun-free zone, I am not afraid to kick a little ass. And I just burst out laughing at this older woman telling me that she was not afraid to pull over and kick this woman's ass. And this woman just tells me the story out of the blue while we're on the phone for me to fix her computer. Okay. All right. Backpacks. So this part right here is debatably optional. I think this part just gives you lore. I don't know if it's required for the quest line, but that does give you instructions that if you were figuring this out for yourself, or none of us are, uh, it lets you, it gives you a hint towards the next thing. All right. Uh, Askern Road, third secret can be found. All right. Let's look at that map. We need to go here. So let's go, boop. CSS. She says, I flipped her off. I'm like, that's it? I thought you were about to cap her ass or something with how this story was going. Okay. You know what else I can do while we're in veteran mode? I never fought the hardcore Leviathan. That should be no problem on normal at the very least. I might have some gear upgrades this character because I leveled... A whole second character all the way to 100 uh, in hardcore since I last played this tune. So I might have more purples that this character can use. Lurk for alert, brother. Make sure not to meet Tab or Shane. Uh, yeah, sure thing, Nadine. I'll get you back when I'm offline. Thank you. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I overshot. I overshot. All right, where is it? Right here. Here's our next secret. Now these stones don't open unless you've got the the previous rune stone. You have to do these in this order, I believe. Uh, let's see. Oop. There we go. Uh, uh. Ooh, instant load screen. <laughs> Hello, Scorpion Tail. How are you doing? We're doing secrets! Guardian of Bismil! How's it going, baby? Boom! Wow! Wow! We're, got, yo, we're on vet mode right now, and we're getting recipes and stuff. One attribute point? I didn't know that was gonna happen. I came here for the skill point. Cool. All right, now also in this area, thanks to kind viewers telling me in the past, oh, hang on. Over here, wait, how do you, ah, here we go. You click on this loose stone and this thing opens up. House Ward. What do you go to Hot Topic now and roar at people? <laughs> what is this? Sorry, rare at people? All right, Rush Goblin of Mad Queen. I'm told this thing is crazy tough to fight if you're fighting it at the right level. I haven't yet done that. <laughs> okay, so we've gone through all that. Now we go to the Temple of the Three, which is an East Marsh. Okay, so now, as you can see, we've got the three stones. And we can go to East Marsh. Grr. <laughs> Grr, baby, Grr. I gotta say, the temptation to play, because right now I'm only having time to play it on Saturday, Sunday. The temptation to play some more Pathfinder Kingmaker is uh, is getting up there. Might be uh, doing that again soon. If I, if I log on someday and I see that one of the, like, really, really big Grim Dawn streamers ha is online and has all the viewers, I might do some uh, Kingmaker that day. 
but I was also eager to play my Conjurer a bit after all that ritualist gameplay. Ritualistic gameplay. Mm. Whoa! You've been Thunderstruck! Here we go. So right here, this thing opens with those three stones. You see, it took all three of them. They were keys. Now we can go in here. And what level is this stuff? Okay, I don't need to pause for this stuff. I don't need to give you all the time of day! That bomb right there, those things, that is what hellhounds look like in uh, vanilla... Grim Dawn. Vanilla Grim Dawn. That's what hellhounds look like. Those are the words I am trying to get out of my face. By the way, Scorpion Tail, I found a list of the Twitter accounts that belong to the employees of Subnautica. So if you would like to uh, send me a tweet from your company Twitter, just a little, just like, hey, that's all, that's all. Not, not Nothing embarrassing to the company. Then I, I'll believe that you work for Subnautica. I am caught up on the uh, Arctic Zone updates. Alright, we're now in the Temple of the Three, which, as I said earlier, required those three uh, keys to open up. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Not that kind of deb. I just threw money of them. Threw money at them. Oh. So you're like... You're like a Kickstarter backer, right? Gotcha. That's, yeah, that's not a dev. <laughs> that's why I was like, there's a very high chance he's full of shit yesterday. <laughs> when you're like, I'm a developer of Subnautica. I was like, you're a developer. Like, yeah, it could happen. I, I, I would totally, uh... It's totally possible. I don't know anymore. Porculus! Is that a boss door? Oh, here we go. The Sentinel! This guy kicks my butt in the, uh... Whatcha jigger? Crucible. Alright, so we talked to this guy glued to the rock. I've come to learn of the Witch Gods. How do I learn? I'm ready to receive the gift. Skill point. Such power. All right, so we got an attribute point and a skill point from that. Um, What was I doing with this character? It's been too long. Briarthorn Windigo. I had Raging Tempest maxed out, kind of for the... <laughs> it's for the birds! Oh, it wasn't maxed. Okay, sure. Another point there, then. Alright. And... That's it, right? I think that's the only secret quest I can do in normal. Most of the secret quests can only be done in ultimate mode. So now I can do the same thing on Elite. Oh, we could go do the Leviathan. We could do the Leviathan. Uh, I gotta remember where it is. Wasn't it near Barrow Home? Like a little south of Barrow Home? The Leviathan boss? Hmm. I think that's it. Alright, so let's go to the Ugenbog waypoint, see how far away from it that is. This one is probably the closest. Alright. So I'm sure because the level difference, I'm just gonna delete it. But I was, I, I have never killed the Leviathan when I was the right, you know, that level, uh, on softcore mode without dying multiple times. So I was like, I'm not going to dare do this on hardcore. Yo, do I have all my buffs on? Primal Bond. 
No, I was missing 3,000 hit points. I just glanced down, I was like, my health feels low. It wasn't that low before, was it? Shoot, I didn't have this on. Alright. Boom! Mysteries of the Ugden Bog. Oh, I need to set him to aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Uh, there we go. We're here. Alright. He's level 103, even on this difficulty? What the poop? Yo, he's actually killing my pets. Wait, he's dead? I was literally about to leave the freaking game. That was normal. That was normal mode. Look at my resistances. Jesus. I'm level 100, and that was the normal mode Leviathan. <laughs> I got I got kiss my butt. Oh my gosh. You suck. What is this little pocket over here? Can I go that way? That's weird. Guess I can't go over there. Alright. Let's go into elite mode, do the hidden path real quick, and get those points, if we can, without dying. Because elite mode might actually scale up to my level, so gotta be careful with that. If you find a devotion shrine you cannot restore, its location will be marked on the world map. Oh, I never did this thing with a uh, Barrow home. Not sure if I've ever done that. Alright, let's go... Uh, uh. Set everybody to aggressive. Alright. You, like? you know, I don't even have to read these because I picked them up in normal mode, so they're gonna be low level. Okay. Well, let's do the hidden path real quick. I'll try to. Going to kill Creval, dude. After what? What the hell? Am I clicking it too fast? Thank you. I s I see the problem. I see the problem. I changed the key bindings on my necro. This was zero. So what I was doing, I was going zero nine eight seven six five. Just I would just I used to just click down the whole line, but since I changed the key bindings, that's not going off. And those two aren't going off. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to mouse click them because it's once per login. So, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, dude, I don't know. I mean, maybe I need to if I hotkey some a hotkey some ether clusters and stuff. Maybe I could try it. But that was a major like I almost died on normal mode. Oh my gosh, I'm to go around again. That was hella stupid. Alright, we'll 
Well, this is fresh in my mind now, so I don't really have to glance over at the guide. Yeah, it would be sketchy on Elite probably after watching Vet. Maybe after more gear. Most of my, if you look, I've got a lot of greens and blues, so I, I'm definitely not end game geared. I'm like fresh 100 with a couple of lucky items geared. What level is this stuff? Oh, uh, 78 with a 78 with a few 100s. Wow. That guy dropped seven crafting mats. I accept your generosity. Strange creature. Rolling blood. Okay. Definitely a little taking a little getting used to getting back into the the groove of this character. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've, uh, after this character hit 100, I was like, okay, I, th this is my first hardcore character, I now can use this to buy the XP potions, and I'm gonna level another hardcore character with double XP before I start taking any crazy risks, like what I just did. So now if this character dies and I have to level a new one, I still have double XP potions. Honestly, just on a fun level, I'm probably not going to play the Ritualist more in the near future unless one of two things happens. One, I get like a really good item for the Ritualist to use. Or two, I get a... Um, I, I two, two is I die and I have to get the Ritualist just a little bit more Malmethex, uh reputation to buy those potions for the new character. Whoa! Many, many piggies. Now these crafting mats are good no matter your level, so those are always fun to pick up. Don't kill the boss of the feast quest. He's super hard for conjure. I don't know that I've ever done that quest. Is that the barrel home? Oh yeah, that's the barrel home thing. I don't think I've ever done that. For a very long time, I was under the mistaken impression that if you joined Barrow Home, you became an enemy of Coven's Refuge. Like that other reputation where you pick one. And so I always attacked Barrow Home, and someone was like, no, you can be friends with both. And I was like, what? And I, I did no idea. So after that, I started um, being friends with them, but I don't think I've ever done the, the Ravager. Uh, where do I need? I need to go over here. There we go. You can do that part, then next part, once you summon, he's a super boss. Like, Nemesis? I mean, maybe I could try it on normal or something, but... Still, I could just wait for better gear. Boom. Click the chest. You know what? I guess this step is completely not needed. Like, it gave me the lore page on normal, and now I'm getting nothing from it. Okay. Andro, you have to call him a pussy and then attack him <laughs> on Elite. He's the same level. There we go. Ooh, two soul shards. Okay. Okay. Hey, camera god! It's been weeks! Where have you been, man? You've been working hard for the money. Where's that secret? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Let's see.
Okay, incoming ultimate dad joke. I haven't seen you since September. <laughs> no ragrats. Guardian of Bismil. For the longest time, I would fight these things in the Crucible and have no idea where they came from in the real game. Alright, there's our free attribute point. Let's put that into physique so we're a little little more HP. So I'm, I'm trying to separate this character in my mind from my softcore conjurer, which has better gear. Other than this. This my softcore guy does not have. What did what did I put on that? An ether soul? Okay. Alright, level 83 Mad Queen. Um I'm gonna wait like 15 seconds for Primal Spirit. There's like a four or five second window after you fades that I can't have him out. Huh. Not too bad. But I still have the level advantage. Alright, is that all three runestones? Do do do. Yep. Alright, time for East Marsh. I think after today I'll actually have this quest line memorized. Because before today, I'd only done it one time, and that was quite some time ago. So I had to pull the uh, the guide back open. Uh, let's kill Mesmer. Target this guy, come on. Oh, that was the fake! Where's the real one? There he is. Sneaky Mesmer. Sneaky Breaky. Thunderstruck! Level 21 over 12 primal. Oh, I forgot about that. I have so much gear that's affecting primal spirit on this tune. Shoot, troll. Don't bother me. Open, says me. Alright, so that used all the keys. Let's run over here. We're getting pretty close to get it. We've got one more boss over this way. And then we'll get the skill point for elite mode. And after how close I came to dying on the normal... Kraken. We're not going to do the Elite Kraken right now. As always, hearing combat while in a hardcore loading screen <laughs> scares the daylights out of me. That's not it. Hey, it's a bug. I missed this on normal mode. Boop. Leathery hide. Hmm. Lot of blood here. Lot of blood. Can I cut through here to get to the final guy? Looks like I can. Oh yeah, there was a secret wall that a viewer showed me that's uh, way over to like the northwest. I'll have to go there. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if 
I already passed it. If I get to the boss, I'll backtrack. Look at my pro- What? Did you guys see that? My primal spawned in here in this secret area and then busted his way out and revealed a hidden pocket. Who's a good boy? <laughs> There's also a secret wall after the skill point. Okay, okay. Two minutes of football advertising. Oh, dude. If I'm not trying to earn bits on Twitch, I might be having ad block plus turned on. Maybe. Yeah, dude, I'm uh, I'm I'm not a big big streamer. I don't get anything from you watching football ads, unless you're like gathering bits to throw at me. So you don't have to worry about it. Da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -da. Aha! There we go. All right, that's Max. Um, hmm. I don't know why I clicked on that. They don't- my, my pets are never dying, they don't need more health. Um... I'm just experimenting with something here. Percent all. G100, undo. I mean, it's substantial, but... If I just do raw stats, I gain like 50 hit points. Let's just do raw stats for now. I can always respect. Click the. There we go. Aha! I think this is what uh, he was telling me about just a second ago. Alright, we've gotten two skill points tonight already. Uh, three to four hidden areas in here. Well, now I know of two. Well, no, wait. I found that one. I found the one that the Primal Spirit found on accident. I know of one that I missed, and I'm gonna head there now. Boycott it. <laughs> yeah, this this right here we found by a mistake. Uh, shoot, do I have to go around? Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, Chris J. I'm playing my Hardcore Conjurer, going through some of the secret quest lines with the help of the wiki, and uh, earning some extra skill points and stuff through the help of this. Oh, to anyone who has uh, shown interest in Grim Dawn but doesn't own it, it's on sale right now. It's like even cheaper than it usually is, which is super cheap. <laughs> Acres J, long time no see. I just have to say, burn on social media, win win. There's one right before you cross the bridge to the boss. What? Uh, I'll head back there. If I don't, if I miss miss it again, I'm just gonna bleh. Mm hmm. Hmm. There we go. What level are the greens in this difficulty? 70? Okay, no more picking up greens in elite mode. Alright. Bounty, 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 and this weird thing with the fee. So we can do that later. Let's go back into ultimate. Ultimate mode! Uh. Yes. Where's it on sale? Need to buy Crucible. I don't know if Crucible is on sale. I think, uh, hold on one second. Let me see. Go into Ultimate and start. Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna pull up the advert I saw and, uh, tell you exactly what I saw because I, I don't want to lie. Oh, wait, was it not the Grim Dawn? Ugh. 
let's see. Uh, oh, is it GOG? Okay. On my my Facebook feed today, I had the. Uh, it was like you know, Grim Dawn and Ashes of Malmoth are X percent off, and I I couldn't remember where I saw it. I knew there was a way to get them for cheaper. Because they're not available to 60, I don't care. <laughs> Look at all those reagents we got. That was tight. Uh, I know you like the pebbles, are there any more Berserker and Hulky base, like an Enraged Warrior or something similar? Um, hmm. Help me out, friends. Help me make Chris J. Barfield's dreams come true. Would that be like a soldier slash, uh... I mean, like, a soldier slash shaman makes a warder, which I've been told is super hard to kill. They don't dish out tons of damage, but they're very hard to kill. Again, that's what I've heard from viewers. Uh, soldier slash nightblade makes a blade master. Um, I don't know a lot about that. Combine those. All right. Lots of mats. Let's throw this in there. Okay. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can do the hidden path line on ultimate mode for more points. Da -da 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 -da. Soldier with anything is pretty tanky. I've enjoyed dual range spells, they feel squishy later. Everything in ultimate is level 100 or higher at this point, so anything I see with a star on its head, I'm pausing to kill it. So we can get them sweet, sweet purples. Oh wait, did I? I did. There we go. Okay. I'd accidentally turned off one of my auras, because I was on the uh, wrong page. Taking some hits. Hey, I summoned a Wraith. My gloves procked. That means some of my meager damage stole a kill from the pets. Oh my. Oh, my mana's going down. I forgot this character doesn't have the infinite mana like my ritualist did. I guess I can't switch out the mana potion for an ether cluster on the bar right now. Flying eyeballs! Yo, this guy's taking a while. That's fun. Level 107. These freaking eyeballs everywhere, man. Alright, come on, pets. Clear the room. Alright. Whew! Alright, we're just on a drain. Da -da 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 -da. Don't need, don't need. Okay. Alright, next one. Broken Hills. I'm a loot ninja? <laughs> Dual wield but tanky, the Blade Master is probably your way to go. So, Blade Master, once again, is Soldier slash Nightblade if you wanted to try that, Chris J. Woo! 
Angry pigs! I thought these were cows for the longest time. Like, bulls? I thought they were bulls for the longest time. I didn't realize those were tusks. Nice! I killed three big baddies. Alright. Let's see. Da, da, da. We're grabbing some greens, not all. Oh, there's a star mob. Malexin of the storm, Weaver. Malexin of the dead. I was, uh, I was reading today that, um, was it Wildstar? They're turning off their servers soon. I was kind of sad to read that. I mean, like, I I played it, I, I, I spent a few months playing it, like, almost single player, you know? Like, I didn't know anyone else doing it. I thought it was a pretty cool MMO, I enjoyed it. But to be fair, I I don't think I spent a dime on it. I think it was free to free to play and then you paid for cosmetic stuff like many other games these days. I guess they're not making enough money. But yeah, Wildstar is shutting down in November, I believe. That purple stuff under the pets is doing a lot of damage to him. I can heal through it though. Ooh, that's not standing though. Okay. Runestone of Soleil. Crafting, crafting. Alright. You know, I this character doesn't have any of those rovers crazy adrenaline pet potions, so let's go grab some of those right now. I I uh, was told that they exist after this character. Can I Nope, I can't. I tried shift and control click. Ah, they're pretty costly though, they add up quick. Alright, um... Let's do that. So I've got it on mouse 5. Wait, no, this is the one it should be on. Okay. Put uh, that back. Alright, got it. Uh, oh, I never did that one? It must have required something insane for me to not, to, for me to walk right past it and not do it. Uh, okay, next is this one. Free to play are kind of a Russian roulette, and that'd be really profitable if one or two end up falling on its face. Guild Wars 1, didn't you have to buy it off the shelf? Didn't you have to, like, go to the store and buy the box? Guild Wars 2 also. At Guild Wars 2, yeah, those weren't free to play. What are you talking about, Willis? Your metaphor ranks poorly. Yeah, those were literally pay to play. It was free once you bought it. Let's see, Venom Fang Oil. Any of this any good? Da da da. Uh, I'll grab those. <laughs> Guild Wars 2 is one of the few games my wife actually played with me. She actually enjoyed that one. Ah! I gotta remember this stuff's actually a threat and not just walk into it. Yours too, I think, is free to play now, but yeah, it's like the most recent content costs money and all the older content is free to play to try to get to, you know, hook you in. To so you can see if you would enjoy it and then buy the most recent stuff.
This guy is quite beefy. I'm just Wendigo healing through his damage, but... He's got a lot of health. There we go. Da -da. Woo. I think the my favorite like the favorite class I ever played. Like I enjoyed engineer and necromancer a bit, but I think my favorite class was an Asura Ranger in that game. I loved the Asura, just like they were doing, because yeah, they were so small, they flipped all over the place like Yoda in Star Wars Episode 3. They were just, they would go bonkers. Alright, I just used one of those potions, because this guy has got beef. Okay, so the Mad Queen in here might be pretty rough. I might actually see her attacks with how slow this is going. Look at his damage. Somehow my he level one hellhound has pulled aggro. That's wild that level one hellhound with level one emberclaw has pulled aggro off level 19 briarthorn. Alright, we got our attribute point. Uh, interesting. Shaman, Arcanist, Lightning, Gun. You have an Asura Elementalist. Nice. Elementalist always felt a little overwhelming to me, because it was like every, you could change your hotbar to based on the element, right? So it was like... You had, like, four times as many hotbars as everybody else or something? Okay, I'm... I'm scared right now. I, I don't know how tough this is gonna be. Ultimate Mad Queen. I've never fought her when she was supposed to be a challenge. Level 109. All right, I'm gonna use DPS pots every time they're up. Yo, these bleeds though. Wait, someone's already dead. The Briarthorn's already dead? What the shit? Wait, hold on. Okay. I need to I need to back up and recoup. Do I just need to wiggle? Oh my god. Okay, okay, so sh she just really likes bleeding attacks. What is that damage? Are they in a pool? Okay, okay. I see how she can be very challenging. 
So I made some mistakes there. I'm so, I was still in the mindset of my ritualist. I was trying to do like hit and run dot tactics and I don't have 20 dots anymore. Not on this turn. I've got some, but not a lot. Um, also a mistake that I was making there is, let me show you guys what was happening. I was right here. You guys saw this and I was fighting right here and I kept trying to do this, trying to throw a Wendigo totem under her to heal the pets. And I didn't realize for like three totems that it kept clipping this wall. So I, I kept trying to throw spells over there, but the totems were landing here where I was standing and not healing the pets. Be prepared to reset. Yeah, for some reason the Briarthorn was just gone. Every time she looked at him, he kept disappearing. I think he might just have a lower bleeding resist or something. Uh, up to nine skills that differ depending on the elements shows. Yeah, like I said, the elemental is felt overwhelming for me. This is a lot in the red face. Yeah, that was uh that was definitely a little more challenging than the others. At first I thought she was only firing those spines in front of her, and then it was just like it, it felt more like she had a turret on her back that was shooting those things at me. Was there a treasure chest in there somewhere? Did I miss it? Or is it just is that all the loot? Hmm. Okay. Like, I'm kind of disappointed right now. Is there really no other loot in here? Alright, I guess to East Marsh we go. She throws out projectiles and they kill you. BT if he stands too close. Kill your... Oh, the... Oh! So it's like the uh, the shotgun mages that I was so scared of. That's... I think, I, I think I'm getting it. You're saying that you'll, you'll get hit from multiple projectiles if you're too close to her, right? Gotcha. I does she do the mul the pro those bleeding projectiles in the crucible? I don't remember her ever shooting those, unless it was just she was so watered down in the crucible that I killed her too fast. Yeah, I'm definitely a bit rusty on this character, so that's that was part of the challenge. Open sesame! Only in the highest crucible level. So in, gla in Gladiator Crucible, does Koopa Cabra start multiplying again? Because that would suck. <laughs> oh, another mistake I made fighting her is I saw this stuff on the ground. And I'm so used to my Blight Fiends from the Ritualist, I wasn't getting out of it. I was thinking it was my poison, and it was not my poison. Hashtag not my poison. But yeah, I could... Uh, it, I could totally believe that that uh, Mad Queen would be just hell in a handbasket for a uh, melee anything. Probably suck. Oh, these, oh, these are 106. It's like, these mobs are pretty beefy. Level 106. That'll do it. Ooh, we got some name fellas here. Got a lot of name ones here. Having to do some manual pet controls. There we go. All right, what do you get? Mythical Rift Out. Oh, nice. Um. They don't hold up to my leggings that add 10,000 poison retaliation to pets, but they're nice. Throw them in the stash.
My poison resist is A-OK. -okay. It's 85. It's 5 over cat. But, uh, thank you for the warning. I did not know Sentinel did poison. I thought Sentinel just did, like, piercing. Yeah. Aspect of the Guardian is ridiculous poison resist. I can shower in this stuff for a little while. Ooh, let's potion. We took a hit there. We took a hit. Alright, that's like 20 puddles. Let's give that a second. Scourge. Lots of Scourge Slicers. So much slicing of the Scourge. So many poison bugs in here. Can I just run through? Yeah, okay. Had my finger on the pause button when I pulled that stunt, but it's okay. I think I missed this earlier on the other difficulties. This room right here. Saw pet stuff. I'll read that cl more closely in town. Woo! Sneaky buggers. I was reading a thing today that got me thinking. It was like, what was your first gaming memory? And I don't know if I have a first gaming memory. Like, I remember playing Commander Keen and Willy Beamish, seeing Diablo 1 for the first time. But one thing that really stood out to me when I was thinking about this topic was the first time I got player killed in D1. And I was just, like, playing, a, I was playing on Battle.net, like, when it first came out. I was playing some character in D1, and I didn't even know what PvP was. And some guy joined my game... And I'm just, like, doing my thing, doing my thing, and then I'm, like, deep in the dungeon, and, like, ten minutes later, because I guess the guy had to find me, guy comes running up to me and just, like, one-shots me. I die, and your ear falls. It says, like, Mukluk's ear on the ground. And he takes the ear and leaves. And I... I was, like, ten. I thought my character had permanently lost his ear, and I was just, like, distraught. I didn't know what was going on. Some guy just came and violated me and stole my character's ear, and I was never gonna be the same again. Why would a human being do that? And I'll never forget, his name was Highlander, with two R's on the end. Like, it just, it burned into my brain. Like, why would a human being do this? That was the day Mukluk lost his innocence. <laughs> <gasps> I should have waited for uh, Primal to come off cooldown. Oh boy. Oh! Shit! He mind-controlled the Briarthorn, and both he and the Briarthorn turned and smacked me. That lightning bolt's targeted on me. Did he mind-control all my pets at one time? Look at my debuffs. I've got bleed... Bleed and Poison is from the Primal Spirit. Lightning is from the Raven. The Briarthorn definitely punched me in the face. You can see the Briarthorn right there. He's gunning for me. Fire is from... Maybe my own Raven proct Elemental Storm on me? Armor Break, Weapon Break. That's got to be from the Sentinel when he smacked me. Resummon? I do. There's no freaking time. I can't resummon all of them in one second. I'm gonna have to reset this. If I had pause, dude, the primal can one shot me with my current hit points. 
Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. That was really close. We're gonna try that again. I had, I was not prepared for that mechanic. I feel like I'm lucky to be alive. Dude, the root is like, it doesn't even root. It like slows them by 10%. They've got like 200% speed or something. It's not gonna do jack. I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna try to be further back and I'll try to be ready to resummon them. For the new dungeon, they're disabled. Dude, that's fine. I'm I'm okay with that. I, I completely am. It's really rare. That that I think is the second time I've ever left the game when I was about to die. I'm completely fine if they just make it to where like um I can't think of it. There was some game I played on hardcore where even if you left the game, your character was still in the game for like five seconds. So it was not good to do that. But yeah, I'm fine with that. But that kind of, that, what just happened, kind of goes back to, I did not understand that guy's mechanics. Um, <laughs> throw that in the stash. I'm not 100% that I can fight that guy. I'll, keep your stash safe. I'll do this for now. I mean, I it's ultimate mode, so everything I kill on my way back there is going to be basically farming, and I'm that's fine. God, I have so much stuff. Oh, uh, that's that's not amazing. My control should be three seconds. Yeah, it's just it hit all my pets, and they all turned and hit me at the same time, and I I just went poof, and I was lucky to be alive, honestly, because. It's like all the power of a full character was in those pets, and all my cooldowns were popped, and they turned and smacked me. Okay. Let's try that again. We have new knowledge! <laughs> Let's try to go back and do this again. Like others have said, letting him stand next to crystals is bad. Not only do they heal him, they buff him with total speed and offensive ability. He'll hit you really quickly and much higher chance of Oh, I didn't even see crystals. So I'll uh, thank you, and I will try to keep a lookout for those. Were the crystals part of the environment, or did he summon, like, targetable crystals that I can kill? Because I totally missed that. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. He summons them, but you cannot kill them. Oh my god. So it's like the puddles from Koopa Cabra. I just gotta get away from them. Okay. Once more into the breach, my friends. Uh, I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, I just used a rover pot. All right, these guys, yeah, it's fine now, but they were all up in my grill earlier. Three blues, though. That's like their way of apologizing. Alright, what were those? 
not worth looking at right now. Shouldn't have resummoned the Primal right then. The Scourge Slicer. Seem to be very common here. Valora, the Void Touch. Oh, we got three heroes here. Okay. Alright, I think we got two of them. Ravacrix. Ravacrix, the Ravenous! Mythical Mediator. Spirit Crusher. Okay. Oh, we lost somebody. Hellhound. Hey, Chef, how's it going? Welcome home from work. A hard day. Serving up steaks and the finest of gruel. Champagne with a side of escargot. Cooked to perfection. Searing Ember. Might as well open up the map a bit more. Let's go to the right this time. Mutated scale. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to go back to the left this time. Chef Muck almost cooked himself with a Sentinel. <laughs> <laughs> Chef boy, our fail. Yeah, I I burn the cereal. Muckluck reads the instructions on the box of Kraft macaroni and cheese, even when he's made it one thousand times before. Uh, that way is blocked. That's cheap shot, muck on Blindson. Jeez, Kemmer. Might as well throw me in the trunk of my trunk of your car. You're gonna do all that. Oh, eh. I can get more not it well, I guess more XP for my uh, devotion skills. The sound of those urns breaking actually startled me pretty greatly. <laughs> Serrated spike.
<sighs> okay, when I go in there to fight, yeah, this is a poor killer. So when I go in there, I'm gonna get locked in, right? I'm gonna be stuck in there with him. When he makes these crystals, are they permanent? Like if I if I kite him around, will the old crystals vanish? Or do I have a limited amount of time before the whole room is filled with the crystals? Does anybody know? Bueller, Bueller. Well. You can only have two up max. Thank you. That is extremely useful info. What's up, DJ? How's it going? DJ, we are in a clan war. Do not forget to use your attack. But for those that don't know, I'm talking about Clash of Clans, not the other one. Jesus. <laughs> can I... I had... Okay, you can have a portal in here, but it takes quick clicking to go somewhere. Scared. Hmm. Who's t possibly texting me right now? All right. Oh, man. Alright. If he mind controls the pets, I've got to react quickly. Okay. I resummoned everyone. Oh, God. There's ads in here? Come on. i got enough to deal with right now. Oh, this door's locked too. Oh god, I'm I'm so glad the Sentinel's not attacking right this second. Okay, that crystal wore off. Target this big bird, get this crap out of here. God. I'm stunned! Oh. Hold on, who's missing? Hellhound was missing. Can go suck a big one, Mr. Sentinel. <laughs> Dude, when he when he mind controlled the bird and made my own bird thunderbolt me, which stunned me for like three seconds, I was stressing out. Ah, <sighs> give me my skill point. <sighs> Polish Emerald. God dang. Yeah. Okay, we've successfully done the hidden path. 
on all three difficulties tonight on hardcore and gotten our extra three attribute and extra three skill points. Um, I'm not confident that the current me could kill the John Bourbon secret boss. No, David, F you. I almost died to the Kraken on normal just a few minutes ago. You're out of your mind. I mean, I could start the Dela's secret quest line quest and just kind of be doing that while also farming, but I... A good prize! But I don't think I could finish it right now. One to all skills, Necro. Eh. One to all Nightblade. Aspect of the Guardian? So this is like an occult... What does an occultist Nightblade make? Lots of pierce, lots of acid. Get rid of that. Okay. Kraken Bill. <laughs> Dude, I did the Kraken on normal a little while ago, but even on normal it was level 103 and it died right before I did. It was so close. Freaking Tetris. All right, let's just throw it here for now. All right. Have you done the Lokar secret quest on the softcore character? Is that the one that ends where you're fighting the boss of the Crucible Sorok? If so, I got to him and could not kill him. I tried like four or five times. I was on my Kabbalist and I had a, a physical damage pet army and the th only move I had to lower his physical uh, defense was Curse of Frailty. And I could not land it. Like, I would cast it on him over and over and over, and it wouldn't stick to him. And I looked online, and it said he had 99% all resistances. So near as I can figure, he had a 90% physical resistance. I had vulnerability to lower it, but he had a 99% chance to resist Curse of Frailty, and I couldn't land that. So I kited him around, doing like near perfect kiting for 10 minutes. And I took like one pixel off his bar. And I finally, I just went, just kill me. I'm done. <laughs> I could not damage the son of a gun. So this time I'm using moves like this, Raging Tempest, that, you know, well, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. I mean, uh, we literally had a clock going, and it was like a 10-minute kite, and I took one pixel off of his health bar, and I was hitting for, like, seven damage. Like, my primal spirit was hitting for single and double-digit numbers. Well, that was my experience with him. And that was only, like, a, a month or two ago. It wasn't, like, a, you know, ten patches ago or anything. Okay. Um... So what I can do right now, yeah, I, that was my experience with him. Right, hang on one sec, let me switch over, because again, we're, we're, gonna, we're about to be doing a secret quest line that I've only done one time, so it is not fresh in my head. So I need to make sure that I've turned in Dela's diary. We're going to do what we can of this quest line and be farming for epics at the same time. I keep saying epics, what are purples called in this game? Legendary, so what are blues? Blues are epic. Oh my gosh, that's so difficult. <laughs> As a WoW player, that's so backwards. Alright. Uh, Alright, so Dela's already gone. Which means I did turn in the... Uh, I did turn in the diary. Okay. Player was high, sir. You can show extra requiring the one before. Um, you must find Stormheart in a breakable urn inside... The tomb of Korvok. Did I ever get Stormheart on ult on hardcore? Dude, I don't know. Maybe I was experiencing a bug or something. You guys know how strong. Uh... Wait, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kabbalist. Kab I would not have had Primal Spirit. On that character, I would have had, like, ten skeletons, 
Um, Blight Fiend, Briar Thorn. No, not Briar Thorn. Shit. Hellhound and Raven. And I was I I could not damage him. Maybe maybe he had vampiric or something. But I swear my my attacks my pet's attacks were doing. I was seeing like single and double digit numbers come off him. And I thought that he and Mog Drogon both had 99% all resistances, because that would that would have explained my experience with him. If it was something else, then I can't put words to it. I'm not sure what happened. Alright, I need to see if I have the Stormheart Sword. I'm going to check the stash to see if I already picked up that item for the secret quest line. So I, I did get to him. By the way, that part of the quest line where you had to kite the blue zombie to the, the rune on the ground without killing the zombie really, really sucked. Stormheart, I do have it. Okay, so I've got that. All right, so let me go to the next thing. Uh, da, 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 da. You need Dravis's letter to da Dela first entry. Weeping Oak, Lord Triple Hand Corsair. Oh, I know where that is. Okay. I don't think I ever picked that up. Alright, Blood Grove. We need to go to the Blood Grove. Uh, boop. He has a ton of AoE, which can often wipe out. I don't think I had much of a problem with the pets dying. Again, I did a kite. I was kiting around the room for like 10 minutes. And we were watching the clock on the stream timer, and it just... I, I finally just opened my arms and was like, kill me. I did the exact same thing when I picked a fight... Is it Ulgrim? The guy in the... that's like, out of his mind, and you're like, we're friends! And then he snaps out of it. Uh, a viewer told me just to slap him out of it, and I did it, and he attacked me. And I was like, oh god. And I fought him for like ten minutes, and I only did one pixel, and I finally just gave up and let him kill me. It's the same damn thing. Same experience. Won't be doing... No, what happens... If you... Look at my pets right now. I'm running non-stop. They constantly teleport me and hit everything around me. Like, the Raven especially. It teleports to me and lightning bolts the nearest target over and over and over. Their damage is fine while you're moving. Like, if anything, they keep getting teleported in front of the boss and smack him when he runs past, and they get very decent uptime on him. Okay, hold on. I am completely lost. Where is the damn... It's over there. Okay. Hang on. Let's go back here. If you run against Lokar, Lokar disappears. I... I only fought him that one time, and I don't remember that. I mean, he might have been doing it, but... My Cabalist was certainly not tanky. I couldn't just stand still. I mean, every one of my streams is recorded in the YouTube archive. If I look through there for the one called, like, trying the secret quest line tonight, I can probably find the recording of it for you. But it's definitely in this in the archive somewhere. No, the mobs in this game, when they go invisible, they do take damage because I've killed them during it. But they take very, very much reduced damage. I, I've had to do that um, when kiting the different, like the Iron Maiden and the other guys that stealth. May, no, maybe not Iron Maiden. There's another guy similar to the Iron Maiden that stealths and chases you around in the Crucible that I've had to kite for periods of time until the pets killed it. But that wasn't the main issue. Did I get the... Okay, I got the note. He might be Fabius. I don't know that one by name. Okay, that's... We've got the sword. we got the first note. Next is second entry in Anguish, which is level five of the Steps of Torment. Jesus Christ. Uh, where was the Steps of Torment? Wasn't that down here? Yeah, that's in the Broken Hills. Okay. Guess we're doing uh, Steps of Torment now. 
at least five levels of it. That's okay. I'll get some farming done at the same time. Do I have a skeleton key on me? Nope. When I get there, I'll make a portal and grab my skeleton key. What? Is this character nemesis to anything? Oh, yeah, quite a few. Okay, shit. Alright, bristly fur. Gladly pick that up. Hey, I summoned a ghost. <laughs> I snagged a kill. What is this character's pet damage? Plus 869%. Right. Oh, hey! <laughs> I can do Archives of the Lost while I'm in there. Cool. Wow, if I get my Barrow Home rep maxed out, I'll have every rep maxed on a character for the first time. Alright, Steps of Torment. So we've got at least two, maybe three quests to do down here. I'm gonna try to count the levels because the titles are all really crazy titles. They don't uh, actually keep numbers up there. Storm Shriek, the dead. Ectoplasm. Balan Voros, the reflective. Shield Steel, Dread Skull. Hey, Stinky. How's it going, man? Good to see you. Alright, level two. Pain. Yep, I, uh, I, we did the Hidden Path questline on Normal, Elite, and Ultimate mode, 
um, which got me three more attribute and three more skill points. I killed the Kraken on normal and almost died. Uh, the Kraken on normal was level 103, despite everything else there being level 60. Uh, so after that experience, I was like, okay, I'm not trying the Kraken on Elite right now. So I'm currently doing the uh, Dela secret quest line that ends with the John Bourbon boss on Hardcore Ultimate mode. I don't know if I will attempt the final boss of this quest, but I can do all the steps leading up to it right now while having the chance of getting purples at the same time. Uh, da -da, da -da, da -da. On that note, anyone here who's played high-level characters, do any of you have any favorite farming spots for max level? I'm thinking of just going back to Malmoth and going crazy, but... Ooh, hello, Ambush. Wendigo Totem is putting in work right now. Bindings of Bismil. Best farming spot is Crucible Maxwell. <laughs> I, I need. I think I need better gear to be able to get to Crucible Max. Or do you mean like the final wave of normal Crucible? Or because if you mean Gladiator, I don't have the gear to get to Gladiator right now. Mark of the Traveler. All right, let's go down. A hard card for running SOT slash AG. Maybe we've seen Hives Under City, Cronley, Warden, Bloom route. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's Steps of Torment. I'm, I'm deciphering what you said. Steps of Torment, I think, is the first thing. AG, I don't know. I get, this, I get the others. For each run, you're wasting my time. <laughs> Ancient Grove. Ooh, Ancient Grove is spooky. Yo, final boss of Ancient Grove is, uh... He's a spooky guy. Oh, a shrine I never did. Oh, that's right, because I didn't come down here on ultimate at all. Alright, so we're in level 3 misery right now. Woo! Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, I'm caged! I'm caged! I can't move! Oh my gosh, dude, go away! God. Being on the subway. <laughs> all right, all right.
Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be more than what we thought. That <laughs> shrine. It's crazy. Alright. Um. Okay, that way's a dead end this time. Good evening, Sir Chemical. Senpai Braves. Hope you had a stress free day. Oh, you got that cord you needed. Nice. Yeah, but that was pretty high on your priority list today. Hmm. Wish you could just force summon a specific type of skeleton with summon skeleton. Oh, I hear you. I, I completely get it. For like 90% of the game, my favorite skeleton is the archers. They're just, they're like snipers. <laughs> they're fantastic. Yeah, I wish you could like click it and there'd be like a pop-up menu and click whatever one you want or set up to random. Oligar the Chaos Bringer, he's too fat. He's blocking the whole hall. Who just died? Hellhound died, resummon. Ralgar. There we go. Mythical room sense. Ah, don't care. Don't want to care. Whoa! Exalted stash? I had no idea there was an exalted stash in here. There's our first purple of the night. Scavenge plate. Give me, give me, give me. Ectoplasm. All right, what's that purple? Mythical Ortis. Uh, 15% chance on attack to heal yourself. 5% plus 800 health restore. That's a sizable heal. That's not bad. It's part of a two-piece set bonus with Night Blade and Demolitionist skills. 100% chance on crit to unleash powers upon nearby foes. It's kind of vague. Okay. Interesting. Went and bought it on lunch break instead of eating. Oh, speaking of buying, if anyone here is uh, new to Grim Dawn and they like it, I think uh, was it GOG has it on a pretty big sale right now. It's either down to 75% price, or it's 75% off. And then I think Ashes of Melmoth was like 25% off. No, not on Steam. On, uh, was it G GOG or something? I, s I saw it on Facebook today. Can anyone correct me? Does anyone know the exact place to get it? On the, on the sale? Grand Priest Arthusalem. Oh, nice. This will get another quest out of my log for ultimate mode. Oh, boy. Oh, many ads.
Oh, some oh the freaking priest. I'm like something just healed the big boss. These priests. Yep, he's, he's going down now that I've killed all the healers. What do you know? Whew! Mythical Shadowy of Leggings. Unholy Inscription. Okay. Oh, nice. The reward was a skeleton key, so I don't even have to go to town. Okay. Open sesame. So we're still in level three misery. So we got two more levels, and then we'll f can get the next uh, item required for the secret quest line. Ooh. Here, hold on. I'm gonna pause this for just a second. Let's see. Da, 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 da. No, that is a while back. Hmm. It's not Steam. Well, Steam is twenty four ninety nine right now for the base game. It looks like G two A dot com says sixteen dollars. I'm not sure if that's a reputable site. Shoot. Uh, I think yeah, I've got the I've got the guide open because this quest, this secret quest line, I've only done all the way through one time, and it was quite some time ago. So I've got the guide open in case I get stuck. Uh, shoot, ornate strongbox. I will go back for an ornate strongbox. Two crafting components from that pack. Only one way to go. All right, we're on, I think this is level four. We're on suffering. Oh, that's the gauntlet room. Gotta do the gauntlet room, guys. Gotta do it. I've learned to hate scrap drops in ultimate. Scrap. But how are you gonna build bridges without scrap? All right, time to live dangerously. All right, so I know, here, here's a few tips for you guys. These mobs only spawn when you're near the middle of the room. So if you back up to a corner and then you kill the current wave, the next wave I'm pretty sure does not respawn until you step up to the middle of the room again. Otherwise they just keep coming. I can't get my thing in, or my window going right. All right, so there, that was wave one. I'm just waiting a moment for my primal spirit to come off cooldown. And wave two. Balrazar, the eternal servant of Drig. Okay, let's skirt around the edges here and try to kill this archer. All right, same thing. Three, two, should be good. I'm gonna kill
kill that boss that was clubbing me, please. Alright, kill Ultracon Pauls. Thank you. Which I can't see. Freaking loot. Rosina Malgos, the Regenerator. Nice, that was the last wave. Door unlocked. Now it's safe to run around at will. Woo. You don't set Ludivision to Legends only in these rooms? I mean, I could have, but I knew I was almost done, so... I can do this right now. Get those crafted man. Oh, blueprint! Hell yes! Even if it's garbage, I love getting another blueprint crossed off, because then you never see it again. Hey! Mythical Earth Splitter. It splits the Earth. What a shock. Soldier something. I don't know what the other thing was. Hmm. Just sort of ancient grow. Fingers crossed for something good. <laughs> Dude, I feel like the whole Ancient Grove is f is okay, and then like the final boss can be such a just ass kicker. Especially if he summons the volcano under you. The, the volcano like spews up like tens of projectiles that then rain down, but he summons it right under you. And if you don't move, all ten projectiles fire up through you before they split and rain down. And so it's like you get hit by just shotgun blasts in the groin repeatedly and just die on the first volley in most cases. Ow. Ninja grows too many spawn points for the beast nemesis. Do you mean... No, Koopa Cobra is not in there. Which beast nemesis are you talking about, Chemical? That Wendigo-looking thing that I've seen in the Crucible, maybe? Wait, Koopa can spawn in the, uh, Grove? Oh my god, I did not- I thought they each just had, like, one area. Oh, shit. Necromancer skill does what the ancient girl boss does. Yeah, just <laughs> the necromancer's one looks like a giant zit shooting pus out of the ground instead of a volcano. Yeah, I think we had, to, we had to fight Koopa, was it last night on the Ritualist? Someone's like, yeah, I think you can get Koopa in this area. Boom, he spawned. I was like, ah! I love that the Raven, even if he's focused on one boss, he's splashing everything around. He's, he's really good for helping uh, clear out the fluff. I could use the rover potion, but I'd rather just save it right now. Alright, there's the archive I needed. Woo! Is this level 5 or 4? I think this is 4. So I think the next level has the quest item I originally came here for. Falgar! I 
I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love the ability to switch the pets to manual control and then switch them back to automatic in this game. Sometimes the pet just absolutely, positively, needs to come to come kick this specific ass. Hey, Prime Fur, how's it going? Good to see you again. Uh, let me pause it for just a second. Uh, Blackmorn, if you type exclamation build, um, it the first link should be this character. And da, 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 I play Melee Sakupa as murder. <laughs> it's a Melee who plays Melee. Yeah, I tried Death Knight recently, and I was trying to play it as like a Melee pet class, not as like the proper Death Knight, and it did not go well. Um... So I, I kind of chalked that idea up as a failure. Oath Keeper has pet support, not just skilled pet player stuff. Yeah. Yeah, my last three, my last four characters, my very first 100, that very first character I streamed was the softcore Kabbalist. Um, I didn't really like how it was at the end. Then my next one, my next max character was the, uh, I know that there's a boss up there, I'm gonna go kill him. My next max, which was my first hardcore, was the Conjurer, and then the Softcore Conjurer, because I wanted a farming counterpart on Softcore, which is this character. And then I made the Ritualist, which is okay. Um, it, Ritualist might be more fun if I had better gear for it. Without gear, this character is more fun than the Ritualist. After this, I'll because with the three main pet classes, I've tried every combination of two. After this, like if I die or get bored, I'll probably try something with Nightblade and see if I can do a pet build with Blade Spirits. That might be fun. All right, I know there he is. Let's see, I I knew that Ilgor was up here somewhere. Or maybe a shaman that focuses on uh, storm totems. I love totem builds too. Target the priest, target the priest. There we go. Ha, <laughs> that 49k crit. I love it. Alright, I'm using a rover potion. Wow, the hellhound saying it again. Yo, something about the hellhound. To, to, to anyone who just tuned in, hellhound level 1. His high threat ability is level 1. My briarthorn level 19, his high threat ability is level 4, and the level 1 hellhound keeps pulling aggro off of him and dying. Which... I, I don't know, maybe it's just something with a threat modifier, or just the, the numbers, but it's kind of wild that it does that sometimes. I mean, originally I just threw an, uh, you know, a one-pointer into it, because like another thing proccing Primal Bond, which all pets have buffs and bleeds, are great. Uh, I don't know. Unless it's just uh, Ishtok is making it taunt. My favorite devotion skill currently is, especially for hardcore, is Ishtok, my lady. And it's when you get hit, there's a chance that your pets taunt the target off of you and they roid out for a few seconds. Squiz me. Uh, so I already made a pretty funny video with one of the new movement skills that wasn't exactly working right. <laughs> I'll have to, I'm gonna bookmark that, and I'll have to, uh, watch that after the stream. Grim Dawn, unfortunately, doesn't play nice when I, uh, try to switch to another window to watch, like, watch a video on stream. We tried that before.
All right, this is the... Oh shoot, I'm standing on a trap that's shooting icicles at my booty. This is the level that has the quest update I need. I believe it's in the south-south corner. For the uh, secret quest line, which is what originally drove me to come here. I do. I do. It's the, um... Hold on. It's the thing that dispels people. The only skill I have right now that can activate it is Grasping Vines, and I currently have Grasping Vines attached to the Shepherd's Call. I'm not, like, using that Dispel properly, so I don't have it bound right at this moment. I would need to respec and find something to take off my bar to be able to use it. I don't think so? Hold on. As soon as I get out of combat, I'll check. Let me see if I'm wrong. No. See? I would have to take a point from something, put it into something else, also sacrifice a spot on my main bar, which would probably mean moving one of these pets to the other page, and yeah. It would be a lot, and then I'd have to retrain my muscle memory to hit it when I need it. So, just right now, I'm not worrying about it. It's really rare, unless there's just times I don't know that I need it. It's really rare that I feel like I need it. The only time in this game I know that Dispel would help are those mages that have the big shield bubbles on them. Now, a lot of my damage right now... It, here, hold on. Alright, so let's review. We got a level 1 Hellhound. Let's just ignore his damage. He's level 1. We got the Briar Thorn, which is really high level. It does moderate physical and pierce, but not very high. Then we got Primal Spirit, which is my, the Mac truck of my build. Does 5k physical, 4800 bleeding, 17,800 poison, and then about 5k pierce and a, a stun. Then we've got the Raven, which does. Where's the Raven? His auto attack combined over like after two seconds it hits three targets for about 5k lightning it leaves elemental storms all over the place which does burn frost and electrocute and reduces their resistances and occasionally just lightning strikes an area of the room for 15,000 lightning damage so right now i've got elemental storm devotion aura and you see it right there at the bottom of that which reduces the target's resistances and I also have the torn these things, the wind devils. Hold on, the wind devils that I throw around are reducing everything's resistances by another thirty six percent. So I am stripping like sixty percent of the resistances off of targets for the ravens. Um, not worrying about curse of frailty at this time, because of that experience I had earlier that I explained with. Um, the second secret boss that I couldn't get below 99% health. Which, with the information we've gleaned today from viewers in chat, like, no one's really sure how that happened. But I thought that he was like Mogdrogan and had 99% physical resistance and also 99% resistance to Curse of Frailty, and I couldn't stick it to him. I would cast it, cast it, cast it. He would never get the icon over his head, and he would never slow down his pursuit of kicking my butt. And... So I was trying to make a build that didn't rely on it. Now I... As I tell that story and people give me more info, no one's really sure how that experience happened, but... It's on YouTube, it's recorded. I'm not fibbing, we just don't know what happened there. I, I kited him perfectly for 10 minutes, got him to 99, and was just I just went, I give up, just kill me. And I just let him kill me, and that was a, it was on a softcore character, so it wasn't a huge deal, but I was just like, what the hell? So, yep, no Curse of Frailty right now. A lot of my damage is coming from Lightning, and I am stripping the hell out of that resistance, so we are doing all right. We need to kill the Priest before it heals the Gargantuan. There we go. Many, many bones. 
It's spooky October. Time for skeleton memes. God, there's more. Potions going. Still over 200. Fine. Ah, standing on an ice trap. Let me go. Triggered two more traps. Dodge the little blue balls. Nobody likes blue balls. Nobody. Maybe a sadist. That was some ear candy, that sound that thing just made when they were wailing on that shielded mob. It was just like ting, 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 ting. There we go. Alright. A sense of dread overwhelms you. There it is. We got the page. So this is the third secret item. You have to stand right there in that spot, and this page appears in your bag. Cracked load stone. Hidden spoils. Guard helm. Okay, now let us kill the final. I mean, we're this far down here. Let's kill the final boss of the uh, Steps of Torment, or die trying. Primal, he gets stuck back. Oh, he was fighting a ghost back there. I didn't see it. That's what, that's what was going on. It's a buy trade for that helm. <laughs> what helm did I get? Mythical Dawn Guard. Oh, you can have it. I just have to remember not to sell it. Yeah, I'm not really trying to trade or twink out or anything like that. I'm just taking my time through the game. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be making a character anytime soon that's going to use that item, so I will just give you that item. Alright, that door leads to the final boss, of Steps of Torment, so we are almost there. Whew, okay. I am waiting a moment for Primal Spirit to come back off cooldown. Oh, which boss is this? The Lord Executioner? I'm a little nervous. Is that a two-hander or a one-hander? That's a one-hander. Okay. Ow.
damn it. Whew! Ah, <laughs> oh, I was at maximum concentration there. No time for talking. Ah, uh, who's dead? Hellhound. Alcamos Agony. What is this thing? There it is. Uh, speed, elemental resist from... Uh, if you like cold, it's got a lot of cold on it. It's part of some kind of set. I'm guessing both pieces of the set only draw from him. Rhyme Fire. 20% chance on crit. A ring of spectral flame expands around you. Oh, that bullshit he was using on me? That was pretty strong stuff. Open, 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 open. Oh my gosh, I saw at least three purples. Four? Wow! Four purples and a recipe. Hold on, hold on. Mmm. <laughs> Feels good. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Heard Shaman is fun to play. Shaman is my current favorite. Any interest in something, something, something for your Raven build? I'm going to say right now, if this link goes to Mythical Will of Bismil, the answer, let's see. I actually think I've got some of those in my stash. I'll have to see. I think I just recently got one of those and put it in my stash because of my Ritualist. I might be able to equip that right now. Switch that out. Yeah, the dream item for my build is Mythical Will of Bismil, which does two things. Three. You can have two Ravens instead of one. It adds like 1500 lightning damage to the raven's auto attack. And keep in mind they fire a spread, like a shotgun. And it increases the length of time that Primal Spirit's on the field by like 5 seconds, which combined with this item, which does the same thing, you can have them out like always. Mythical Duelist Saber Recipe. What are the purples we got? Hold on. We got Hell Scourge. Fire stuff. Uh, Occultus Cadence. Wait, what? That's Occultist Soldier. I don't know what Flames of Igni Ignifar is. I'm guessing that's Arcanist or Demo. Hellforge Leg Plates. Granado is Demolitionist. Cadence is Soldier. I swear I got a fourth purple. Am I crazy? One, two, three. Oh, the belt. Mythical, Infernal, Knights, Girdle. More demo. Jeez, wow. Game's telling me to roll a demo right now, isn't it? Alright. Uh, let's go to town for just a second and deal with this loot. Let's see if it's good, i.e. <laughs> Flame is Inquisitor. Hey, Windsound. Yep, I've leveled three characters to 100. I still have zero deaths in hardcore. I mean, I guess I can't really go back now, because this seems easy. Oh, he said it! He said it! He's gonna die now! That's, that's my knock on wood. Uh, oh, you wanted the... I'll, I'll hang on to that. I almost sold it. Yeah, well, it has been a long time. It's good to see you back. I love a return customer. Mm. Okay. We have three of the secret items now. Uh, throw the ring in there. I'll save the helmets that you wanted. Um, I'll blow these up with dynamite later, because I don't care about any of these. Well, hold on. I thought about making a night blade. I better hang on to that one sword. What is something here I don't care about? That. Vendor. Quest. Vendor. Okay. Uh, I legit looked for the VOD with your epic low cover. See if the combined successor couldn't find it. Hmm. I mean, it would have been quite some time ago. 
Here, hang on. Let me see. If, if this will take me just like a minute or less, I do this. Uh, da, 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 da. It would have. I mean, this was like three or four characters ago. This would have been a while back. Let's just say. Da, 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 da. Dying to a Kraken. That's the name of this video. Dying to a Kraken. Da, da, da. Born icon. Artifact stories. There's a torment. Uh, destroying the war ninja. Da, 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 da. Bear with me here. Oh, lots of divinity. Oh, hey, there's where I beat Subnautica. I think I've gone back too far. Oh, I read all that information that's out about the Subnautica, um, what is it? The Arctic Zone? The below Zero, or whatever it's called? I was reading about that. Chandra Mode Quest, this is three. Starting Ultimate Mode. <laughs> Crafting the Dirge of Arcovia. Okay, that's the Cabalist. So it was after this. All right. Let's go a little bit newer, a little bit newer. Uh, da, 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 da. Summoner pushing challenge, that's Challenger Crucible. Dial a secret quest line. Okay, hold on. I think I may have found it. Let me uh, let me bounce through this video for a quick second here and see if this is the one where I tried D3. the secret. <laughs> Sorry, you guys heard my voice. Okay. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it. Let me get you a link. Maybe, you know, it's entirely possible my memory is just bad of this event. But this right here is when I tried the second secret quest line. It's around, like, the middle of that video. Okay, now, back to what we were currently doing. Uh, we just found the third secret component for this quest. Let's turn in the archives first. The archives of Fates Untold. Let's go turn that quest in. And get that out of the side log here. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully it helps answer some questions about why I was so bad at that fight. <laughs> Alright, Anisteria. You are now honored with a Black Legion. What is it this time? What kind of the Obsidian? Okay. Alright, uh, da, 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 Anguish will find third letter, third entries in the Forsaken Waste inside a ruined house in the north of the area. The Forsaken Waste. Where the hell is that? Was this was the Forsaken Waste the Chthonic Rift that was in the Outer Malmoth area? Was that the Forsaken Waste? Hmm. No, 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 no. I'm pretty sure one of the. Uh, one of the things was um, here in Morndale. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. This was pre with content, wasn't it? I'm thinking of something different. All right, hold on, hold on. I'm bouncing around the wiki right now. Let me pause this for a second. Act four connects to the planes of strife and the obsidian throne. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Right. All right. We have a goal. <laughs> Samsonite, I was way off. What's up, Bone Breaker? How you doing? Mythical Blade Dancers Hand Guards. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm just storming bombs with my face! 
I forgot about the most dangerous boss in the game, these landmines. Ow. Alright, so the entrance to the Chthonic Rift here can be in like four different locations, I think, so I just need to zigzag around. Oh, you know what? I think the uh, Mythical Will Abysmal also makes casting your Primal Spirit become free, which is a huge uh, relief on your mana bar. That was like a, a side effect that at first I didn't care about, and I was like, wow, this is actually amazing. Ouch, something gave me a love tap. Oh, I just saw it, there it is. Here's our target. Uh, zigzag, which is one of the complaints about Act 4, just seems incredibly straight pathed. What is considered Act 4? Genuine question. Like, Act 1 is everything up to the northeast of town, I know. Like, I don't really know where the breakdown is after Act 1. Is Act 2 just a homestead? Wait, is it by town? Like, Act 2 to Homestead, Act 3 to Icon, and Act 4, everything after Icon? Oh man, I've been here before, we got a map. Okay, wait, hold on. Is that it? Yo, I already got it, awesome. Okay, now I gotta get out of here. Hold on, if I don't need to be... I'm gonna try to find the exit, but if I find the stairs that go further down into this place, I'm just gonna... Wait, would it just be faster just to leave the game and come back? Hold on, let me get out of combat first. Right. After you kill Karaz and Dark Veil. Okay. Uh, Taking waste. All four of the revives of the abandoned NPC will spawn in the hidden area of the gates of the necropolis. Northeast from the rift gate, beyond ether crystals and the wagon. Bring the salt bag that you started the game with. Oh Christ. That's right, I remember that. Alright, so let's just bounce out, bounce in. That will save huge amounts of time. Ah. <sighs> That's right. I, when I got to this part of the quest the first time, I had to make a new character and hand over the salt bag. I was like, are you freaking serious? Let's see, aggressive. Aggressive. Be, be, aggressive. Alright. Need to get a salt bag out of the stash. Um, there. There's one. Okay. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Northeast. You know what? Right now, let's let's get some freaking ether clusters. Yes, you can. Quit whining. All right, let's do that. Okay, got it. All right, to the necropolis. Is it Gates Waypoint? Yes. Ugh. Off topic from what we're currently doing, I am itching to play some more Pathfinder Kingmaker. They have fixed a lot of the bu Dude, launch day was horrific. And then, like, they fixed a lot of the bugs within 48 hours, and then created a new game-breaking bug. It's like you couldn't make custom characters. You had to use pre-gen ones. And they couldn't level up. It was awful. And then they fixed that like a day later and a bunch of other stuff like two days later. And it's a much, much better game now. Still got some design choices. I dra dramatically, I tried to say drastically and dramatically. Drasmatically, that's a new word. Muckluck patent pending. I drasmatically disagree with. However, it is a great game right now. 
I've played it to level 5, I've learned more about it. I'm ready to restart it and crank the difficulty up and make like a, a summoning party. I might be doing that on some of the coming days. We will see. I don't really consider myself a variety streamer, definitely like an RPG streamer, but right now I've got two that are tugging at me, and that's that one and this one. On that note, if any of you are new here, and you're enjoying yourself, and you want to know when I'm online, whether I'm doing Grim Dawn or not, do consider hitting that follow button, and it makes it really easy to tell from the main Twitch page if I'm online or not. And you can hang out with these fantastic people anytime you want. Ether Shard. That's right, we're pretty much out of Ether Shards, because I've been using them all to make dynamite. I don't really think to kill that obelisk, but it bothered me. Uh, where is the... Is that it? I need to keep hugging this wall. I know I'm coming up on this ether fire path I need to go through. That's not it. That's not it. Can we just face tank this with Wendigo? Ow. There we go. Okay. We could. It was close. I went past it. Was it that? Okay. I'm going back. I'm trusting you. Don't leave me astray, Sorok. Or Chemical. And Sorok. I'm surprised this isn't burning. Ah, there we go. Took a few hits right at the end. If you had more of this unique material, salt. Okay, cool. Mythical Mask of Delirium, Blueprint Mythical Myrmidon Visor, plus one to all soldier necro skills. Um, I swear there was something else in here, was it this? Dude, I'm not ready for bourbon. I, I need to farm more gear, I think, to do bourbon. I just was doing this quest line up to this step. We're not doing bourbon right now. I do not have confidence that I'll win. I was like, well, I can unlock up to this stage while I'm having a chance to find gear. Can I TP in here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Like, I've done bourbon on softcore. I have a general feel for how tough he is. I don't want to do him with what I've got going on right now. <laughs> Shut up, Stinky. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I've killed him on softcore. You guys have seen my character that leveled with the eyeball armor. I'm, I'm, this, this character is not ready. All right, I know I could go a little bit further. Okay, so we've got the portal open to this area now. So, let's do quests and be getting, you know, chance at purples each time. Uh, da, 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 da. Jesus, I don't know. Assist Captain Wilfor at the Resistance hideout? Isn't he in Steel Cap District? Let me see what's going on there. Uh, Markov, da 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 da, Corinia, Inquisitor Creed, Captain Wilfer. Any luck out there? Did you find the volunteers? Oh, did I never rescue the people? 
Uh, what's the fastest way? Okay, let's do this and then go backwards. The Honesteria questline gives an assured legend at the end, doesn't it? That's Doesn't that start in Coven? I can do that next. Whoa! Shoot! Hello! Yo, get that shit out of here. Turn of the Tokyo Drifters! <laughs> I just like walk it along and then just a mountain smashes into me. The Outcast Witch and Icon? Right, I just went to the Outcast a minute ago to turn in the book and she gave me, um... This, Black Heart of the Void. I'm comfortable doing that, it's just, it's a big time commitment. Ethereal Behemoth. Uh, they are getting a little too close. Okay, so I don't remember which people I saved and which ones I did not. So I'm gonna have to check each of the points. Actually, since this area is gray, I'm almost positive that's the... I didn't save the lady to the southeast here. Uh, I definitely checked for that exalted chest. I know there's an exalted chest up there. I think I've already done that. Memory serves. Okay. Alright, go talk to the captain. He's mean a captain, make it happen. And ultimate the final quest in the outcast chain is a legendary piece of jewelry. Belts included in jewelry for the quest. Okay. Pleased to hear. Good on you. I believe Carinia's got something big planned for the harbor. Oh, the harbor? I love that one. I was wondering if perhaps you could I'm talking about Yo, I am all about hitting the harbor. That's a fun quest. Okay. Uh, da, 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 I'll just go down. Alright, birds, start calling down the elemental storms. This is gonna get a little congested. <laughs> that ragdoll. Whee! We just hit him with lightning so hard, we threw the two-ton guy just way up into the air. Well, this guy's sturdy. Ether Cluster, nice. Those are not common. Chains of Oleron. Okay. Don't worry, random nameless guards. I'm here to save you. I actually am healing them with Blood of Drake. I'm one of the only classes that can heal them. Not the only. One of. One of. Alright, let's, uh, let's dynamite this. I don't know if I'm ever gonna want to, like, farm my way through here, and I'm pretty close. Hey, I am now revered with the Black Legion. Woo. I think I was. Are you for real? Uh, I've already used up all the dynamite I grabbed at the beginning of when I logged in earlier? Dang. Okay. I'm gonna go use my 
few ether shards and turn them into dynamite again. Oh, you know what? Couldn't the... I think we just learned today that the Malmoth Blacksmith could have made the dynamite. Oh, well. Hmm. We'll, sit, we'll leave one shard there for in case there's any obscure thing I need to make. Crystals to shards? Who converts crystals to shards? That's new knowledge. That's new muck knowledge! Or is that any blacksmith and I've just been overlooking that recipe? Because I would believe that. I stepped a little bit too far forward. Hey, mythical sharpshooter's coat. We got a hero ball of light attacking us from the rear. Hey, hey, oh, mythical purple pattern. Mythical Storm Seer Sapphire. All the elemental damages. Converts physical to lightning. Da, 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 da. One to all skills and arcanist. Wow. What the hell? Converts ether to lightning. Converts fire to cold. Adds lightning. Converts ether to lightning. Adds electrocute. What in the hell? It just like scrambles all the attack types? <laughs> That's a weird one. Uh, all the Smiths, even the rookie one in Devil's Crossing. Well, thank you, then that's something I've been overlooking forever. Do you know how many shard, uh, sorry, how many crystals to shards? Like, what's the rate? Back up, back up, back up. This is getting, this is getting crazy. Chaldrus the Cold Heart is dead. Hellhound, you summon. Pet's health starting to go back up. I got close enough to do a, uh, a jigger. Ah, uh, the Wendigo totem clipped. It's right on top of me now. That doesn't help. Ah! I don't want to be out here. Go back. There we go. <sighs> Alright, target the Sentinel. That should kill a lot of this stuff when it goes down. There we go. Even one of the giants fell over. Alright. I'm setting the pets on automatic, so they'll start doing cleanup. I'm when to go healing through these little things hitting me. Whew. Mythical Silver Sentinel's Shoulder Guard. Almost to the harbor. Might have been faster to go the other way, but it will. Watching my health very carefully. I don't want to let too many things beat on me. All right, that pile's getting getting mellowed out a bit. Kill this first, because that's going to keep spawning stuff. There we go. Okay. All right, now this. No, a Tokyo Drifter. Get that shit out of here. All right. Automatic. Okay, we're at the harbor. 
Uh, three to one, I believe. Oh, I watched your Lockhart fight. When you run, he disappears. That I know. When he's invisible, he doesn't take damage outside of dots on him. And he has pneumatic burst that he uses to heal himself. Two percent. Two percent? So he doesn't stay visible for long enough for you to do burst. He's just going to heal too often to take damage. Okay, well, that character was not sturdy enough that he, you know, he could just stand and take it. I had to kite, so I guess that's just impossible for that fight. Was Curse of Frailty sticking to him? Because I thought I remembered that it was not working. Again, I am open to the idea that I was just, I'm misremembering and I was wrong, but luckily we've got a video. Your best bet will be to either let the pets get aggro and try to never take it back. Or figure out how to be tanky enough for periods of burst damage. I mean, Wendigo Totem helps with that immensely, and this character has Wendigo, that character did not. Like, right there. I had a couple of guys beating on me, and Wendigo just kept healing. As long as something is in melee range, it's kind of like I'm getting a Blood of Dreg heal, like, every second. Alright, almost to the docks fight. Fun, fun, fun. Woo! There they go. The waves are starting. Aerial bloater. I know one of the waves is just a whole bunch of Gallic Rose type guys, and that one scares the hell out of me. So you have a force five twelve second duration, and you can run long enough that it will fall off. He's invisible. I felt like it was. I was never seeing the symbol on his head that it was on him. Plus, it's supposed to be like a 50% slow, and he was not getting slow. Alright, I used a rover potion. Kill. Alright, focus on this one on the right. You won't be slow. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, he was flat out immune to some of the effects. That's probably why I thought it wasn't doing anything. Oh my god, there's more! Ow. Oh, shoot! Oh my gosh, I can't take four of those. I'm pets are on manual right now. We are focusing our damage. There we go. Yeah. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh my god, there's more. I thought that was the last wave. He was wrong. Oh, he was wrong. Shite. Alright. He's gonna come after me. Who's first? Single file. Oh, he threw AIDS in the hallway. That's I, apparently not hurting me. Focus on the storm bearer. Alright, kill the bloater that's on me. Kill this behemoth that just charged on me. Ah! There 
There we go. The Ethereals and the Black Iron Docks have been vanquished. Other than these, apparently. Oh, is there just one left? Okay. Again, fun quest. like it. Not a lot of running around and a whole lot of action in one little area. Um, uh, Bosley and Fire Services CC. Gotcha. He's a big fat cheater, Sarok. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't want to start. I don't want to start the Necropolis because that might make, take more than thirty minutes, which is uh, how much time I'm probably going to be here for. So let's look at the council. Isn't the council here in the lighthouse? I think it's in the lighthouse. Or wait, no, is that the one that's in the inner the Crown District? I need to read that more carefully. Damn it. Uh. Here. Tower on the south end of Crown Hill. That was the Crown Hill one. Yeah, and Chemical just said it. Bah, there. I'm kind of surprised how few purples we found so far. I felt like my Ritualist was having purples drop left and right. There's nothing that's like magic find in this game, is there? Like the old Diablo magic find stat? I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Grim. Which I'm fine with that. I hated having to wear magic find sets of armor. Okay. Agris Ether Flame. Whoa, look at the pet's hit point bars, guys. It's bouncing all over the place. It's friggin' clouds. Whew. Yo, do you see this? The loot's dropped on the freaking roof. Look! They're on the roof! Wait, I can reach the bits. Give, give me the bits. This is so stupid. <laughs> Howdy, Lance Libra. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? We're currently dealing with loots falling on the roof. Oh, got a couple casters came up behind. There we go. Use the primal to pick them off. I lost a scythe of Tenebris off the side of one of the Dark Hill Valley bridges that way. Yeah, during my brief stint playing Titan's Quest, I had a few, like, potions roll off into the ocean. Like, just roll down the beach into the ocean, and I couldn't get them. Like, damn. That's some, uh, that's some hardcore ragdoll physics. Okay, ow, ow. Elemental Storm rank 19. Nice to see my damage going up in some shape or form. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Get down here. Get back on automatic. Work on this Guardian. There we go. There we go. No more respawns now. What do you know? Okay, now I can go fight the three elders. Trying to get the Krieg face. <laughs> I'm not ready to attempt that yet on hardcore. Not even ready a little bit. A lot of loot I need to find first. Yeah, 
Is that the set that you farm in the first area of the second, like, before, um... Oh my gosh, what was his name? You guys just told me, like, four times. I gotta not remember this. God, whatever. Yeah. Is that the one where you have to farm... Is the creek set the set that is farmed in the secret area for the second secret quest line, the Mammoth secret quest line? Or am I thinking of a different set? I remember reading about it, but I've not farmed that one. That's the Dark One set. Okay, which one's Kriegs? Where does that one come from? In Malmeth, okay. I've seen a lot of streamers talk about, like, Krieg set this, Krieg set that. Why, what makes it popular? What's the, like, what's the appeal of Krieg set? target farmable. You can easily farm it, making it a good starter set. Okay. So it's something that you would eventually transition out of? Got it. <laughs> Got it, okay. Oh my gosh, a lot of mobs just charged me. I can tank this much, though. I can just... As long as I'm hugging the Wendigo totem, I'm okay. Mm, a couple of crafting mats. Can I go around through here? Yes, I can. Oh, is that a dead end? No, it's not. Okay, good. Ethereal Scamp. Origin of the Slith? Didn't know that would drop here. Freak set is Ithir, Physical Soldier, Arcanist, and Necros set. So it's not rated E for everyone. I'm gonna head to bed, my friend. See you tomorrow. See you, Stinky. Thanks for stopping by. You have a good night. <laughs> Polish emerald. I love their emeralds. I love their sausage. Very good for those who build into it, though. Word. Talking about that E for everyone reminded me of that freaking Funimation tweet. Uh, for anyone who didn't hear the story yesterday, so some guy, he tweeted something like, Oh, y'all grown ass men watching cartoons. There's no excuse. Y'all need to grow up. Dragon Ball Z, whatever it is, I don't care. Y'all grown ass men, you need to stop watching cartoons. So he tweets something like that. And then Funimation responded with a picture of Goku, like, cracking his knuckles, and it said, These hands are rated E for everyone. <laughs> Using a rover potion. Oh my god, these guys are strong. I think there might be some kiting involved in this fight, friends. Wait. Who's dead? Hellhound. Let's all, this guy's the lowest. Let's just focus on him. This is this primal? He knows what he's doing. Okay, hold on. Oh, I can't mouse over their health bars while they're... That one. Okay. Come forth. There we go. <laughs> Ventura. Yes, Satan? Oh, landlord! I thought you were somebody else. 
another rover potion. We got some. We got some. I don't know. I'm guessing those crystals orbiting him are giving him some kind of shield because all of a sudden he is crazy terrible. Maybe like the third one alive is always super buff or something. go. Okay, so first and third had no loot. The second one dropped the Decree of Malmoth. Uh, one to Shaman, one to Necro, one to Inquisitor. That's a one-hander. This might be an upgrade for our Hardcore Ritualist. One, that's one to all Necro and Shaman skills. And a bunch of other shit I don't care about. <laughs> Uh, Grease the best like EPTK Battle Mage with those. Really <laughs> Who is shit talking, Dragon Ball? Hi, <laughs> Bakamoto. Good timing. Uh, those crystals are buff. Poor Valvory Boss is the same thing. Got it. Yeah, that last one definitely, uh, he, he had, he had drank his milk. <laughs> he had the high calcium content. Ready for the bone war. Oh, Supreme Chest. Did you see the chest? It was Supreme. Mythical Blade Dancer's Hand Guards. Mythical Glory of the Silver Knight. Let's see. Oh, oh. What's this? Ew! Such a satisfying yet gross noise. Mythical Edrix Back Scratcher! Back Scratcher? Back Scratcher! It even looks like a... Yeah. Okay. People who like the poison. I don't know if I've ever discovered this secret area before. I have to try to remember that that's there. Uh, another secret to the south. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I read that a little too late, but thank you. What you... Come on, I clicked the door. <laughs> trying to relax here for a second, Muck. Look, go through the door. Jesus. Okay, let's go turn this in. Just imagine the look on Shenzhen's face. You fool! I don't know. Sometimes he, Shang Tsung was like, You fool! It was like spitting as he said it. I, I very clearly remember that scene. Hey, look at that! Amulet 1 to Necro, 3 to... Yo, this gives... Eight skills and then one to Necro? Damn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, we were told about the shards earlier. Let's put that knowledge to use. Ether shard, it's literally right there. Okay. Mr. Stashman! That's, that's a different song. <laughs> I'm a stash man. Uh. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? We got... I'm not keeping that. Keep that. Keep that. Uh, didn't... Is this the exact same helmet that guy told me to save for him? No, it's different, okay. All right, don't care, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Maybe for the Blade Spirit character concept that we were talking about. 
switch that and that. Okay. Uh, another green chest. No more blue items, Solo. Well, it, because it's a hardcore character dark, I'm saving ones that I might potentially want on future characters if this character dies. That, that's what I'm doing. Calm yourself. Okay. What's the next thing that we can do? Find Dahlia in the mountains. Cleanse the ancient crow. That'll take more than like, a lot of time. Do a little area. Is that the Barrow Home quest? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know what to now. Alara of the Wendigo. Janaxia. So I gotta deal with Janaxia and Laria. Okay, I know one of those two is east from Coven's Refuge. You make those blues even the one you said you wanted to sell. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna blow them up with dynamite later. That's that's what it was. The ones that I threw in my personal bank, the, which, which I lose access to if I die, those I'm just gonna blow up with dynamite later. I did not mean to carry Stormheart around. Oh, well. That was cool. But yeah, the ones that I say don't care, I'm throwing in my personal tab because my shared stash is full. My personal tab, if I die, I lo lose that stuff. So I'm putting the stuff I care less about in that one. Salads! <laughs> I've got this made-up song stuck in my head. I'm a stash man. Getting stuck on the environment there. There we go. Carefully blowing up things with dynamite. That's my collection. <laughs> I'm a man of many talents, Mr. Mono. Many talents. Oh my gosh, this hurts a bit. Come on, Wendigo Totem, help me fight these Wendigo spirits! Who's missing? Ah, uh, Hellhound, of course. When in doubt, resummon the Hellhound. Wow, Wendigo Totem almost full healed everybody in those last few seconds. Look like it's Kasparov's second apprentice. <laughs> I'm thinking more of that guy from, was it Atlantis? You guys remember the scene where they're like, oh my god, the statue must have taken thousands of years to carve. And the guy blows it up with dynamite and it falls over and he's like, look, I made the bridge. Took me like 10 seconds, 11 second stops. Boom. I'm thinking more of that guy. Uh, I yearn for the day when I can do dis display capture instead of program capture. And I could just pull up meme references and scenes and just drag them onto the screen and show you what I'm talking about without charading it out. Uh... Oh man. I, I really did, honestly wasn't quite ready for this yet. Alright. Ah! Damn it! I forgot she does stuff from there. Ah, I was totally between those shots. You are so full of shit. Yo, know, she just deleted the pets that I just resummoned. Ow. My raven's the only pet alive right now. We're in full-blown panic mode! Okay. Yes! Mythical Cal of Mogdrogan. 
Don't I have the Axamog Drogon? I think I've got the Axamog Drogon on my hardcore. The Blessed Cleaver, maybe? Fills you and nearby allies with Mog Drogon's Tranquility, emboldening them and their beastly companions. I, again, it doesn't say what it does, but that's neat. Um, it's not bad. Chaos and Elemental. Poison and Acid. <laughs> Poison and Acid is already ridiculous. Alright, so it by itself is not an upgrade to this hat. Although that 380 health would become closer to 600 health with my bonuses, which that would be cool. But my resistances would take a plummet. But it's cool to have another piece of the set that might actually be useful. And because it's a recipe, they can't take that away from me. Okay, we got Janaxia. Who was the one? Okay, go to Coven's Refuge now. So that quest is done. Anyone up for some Krieg runs? Running a light because safer and faster. <laughs> oh, if you're interested in Krieg runs, friends, speak to Lance Libra after the show. Or now. <laughs> or now. Now's good. How about both? Both? Both. Is Janaxia dead? Not far from the wreck. Ah, we can do this right now. Restore the wards. Oh, the very first time I did this quest, I spent like a half hour over here running around because I found one and two wards and I was running, 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 and I didn't know the third ward was right here. Sad panda. Hi, frozen. This guy has a lot of HP. Primal, can't you poison and bleed the ghost? Come on now. Many, many HP. Okay, one down. Two more to go. Oh, elite. I, I thought you were like, I'm running it on light. Like, I can't take, I can't take a full Krieg. So we're running diet Krieg. Or Krieg Zero, if you will. I'm gonna need some help with the, the Krieg Light. I like my interpretation better. That's the for the night. Catch you next time. See ya, Sarok. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the input. We find the many secrets with chemical in Sarok Senpais. Carnivorous plot. Mark of the Traveler. Ah, here's the wraith. Wraith number two. Well, practice he is running around with every character. This character is the tankiest summoner yet. I only run a little bit. Hey, I had a manly death knight that sucked. Thank you. <laughs> also, I'm a tank and wow. Shut up. And it's very manly to order other people what to do. <laughs> the struggle. Uh, no, I'm actually a, a Death Knight in WoW. It, I made the character when uh, when Wrath of the Lich King had just come out, and the, uh, the Malagos raid came out, and you, like, needed a Death Knight. So, our guild needed a tank, and we needed a death knight. So I was like, alright, I'll, I'll make a DK tank and try to learn how to do this, just because we need those things. And I ended up continuing to play it for a decade, or however long it's been. Got a couple server firsts with it. There's a lot of yetis in my face right now, or whatever these things are. I'm a little nervous about all these yetis in my face right now. I'm life stealing like a champion right now. I'm trying to be manly for Bakamono. I'm trying to make him proud. And then Mukluk was deleted. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay. Glad there's no repair bill in this game. That was not working at all. That worked perfectly. I, I, did, I stayed still. I didn't move. I life stayed. It's great. Good times. Good times. Love to watch you die for the very first time while trying to be manly. Oh. No? <laughs> Let, let's not. <laughs> then I have to change my stream title. I can no longer say Zero Hardcore Deaths. Because it would be one more than Zero Hardcore Deaths. Begin the ritual! Summon the Salads! Yo, she is making some spooky. Mean, oh my god. She is making some spooky noises. She's like got a Darth Vader mask and a megaphone over there. That's what it sounds like. Alright, let's everybody focus on this overgrowth. Alright. Hit the plant. Alright, hit whatever you want. I have a quest for Moss Flingers? Okay. Gold a Storm Shell and Storm Slither. Goal was uh, living a long time, but the pets have killed like everything else on the screen. Stone Basilisk. Look, Bakamoto! I'm being manly! <laughs> Man, get the camera. <laughs> uh. Now I'm at the other character. Maybe we tried to make the tanky character. Oh, I thought you meant right now while I was trying to tank stuff. Holy crap, that's a lot of lines. What? Minus requirements for a bunch of stuff. Maximum Pierce, Word of Pain, Stormbox. Okay, we got a purple. Throw the stuff in the stash. Safe storage, no questions asked. Mm-hmm. Boop. Boop. All right. Nope. And I'll hang on to the tiny purple. Okay. Da, 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 da. Did you get the assassination quest from the other witch to the southeast? No, not yet. I haven't. I can go ahead and do that while I'm here. I mentioned doing it earlier, but I never got around to it, so I do appreciate the reminder. Lay on the crazy. All right. All right, what's the time? We are right at midnight, so that's a good timing. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap things up there for the night. Uh, if anyone is new here, I always raid somebody else at the end of every stream, so stick around for another 60 seconds and I will bounce this over to another Grim Dawn streamer if I can find one. And if you, again, if you're new, I stream every single night from nine to midnight minimum, often earlier than that to later than that. So hit follow if you wanna know when I'm online. If you have Amazon Prime, you can sub for free and I'm gonna do that right now. So y'all have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow.